Okay, so today I'm going to read chapter 4 in Who Was Mother Teresa? Chapter 4 To India Only in January 1929, Agnes arrived in India in the city of Madras, now called Chennai. The port city of Madras had so many different colors sights and smells that Agnes had never experienced before. She was in Darsling to continue preparing to become a nun. At the Loretta convent in Darsling, Agnes studied English, Bengali, and Hindu for two years, while also teaching children at the convent school. While Hindi was the official language of India, Bengali was spoken in Calcutta. Her father's ability to speak many languages must have rubbed off on Agnes because she had learned them all quickly. She spoke excellent English, though with a heavy European accent, and also talked easily with many people in India. On May 24, 1931, Agnes took her first divorce as a nun. Now she became Sister Teresa. She took the name Teresa after a French saint who was only 24 when she died in 1897. Sister Teresa, Agnes, had much in common with Saint Theresis. She had been called Flower Bud, and Saint Theresis was known as the Little Flower. They were both known for their simplicity and practical and practicality. And Saint Theresis, who had been a nun was a patron saint of missionaries, an inspir inspiration to Sister Teresa. Agnes spelled their name the Spanish way, Teresa, because there already was a Sister Marie Theresa's at Loreto. The school children started calling Sister Teresa Bengali Teresa since she spoke their language so well. Not so long after taking her vows, Sister Teresa went back to Calcutta. She began teaching the girls at St. Mary's. The school was located within the high white walls that separated the Loretta convent from the burst clean city outside. For much of the next 17 years, Sister Teresa's daily routine was the same. She was up at 5.30 in the morning for some quiet time before mass at 6 a.m. Then came prayer time breakfast, and school. After school, there was office work, afternoon tea, and correcting papers, then dinner, evening prayers, and bedtime. In 1944, the mother superior at St. Mary's became ill. Sister Teresa was hardworking and organized, and she knew how the school functioned due to her long service there. So she took over the Mother Superior's duties, and she would be known as Mother Teresa the rest of her life. 
Mother Teresa found comfort in the discipline of a routine, and joy in teaching the students. I loved teaching, Mother Teresa said, and in Laredo, I was the happiest nun in the world.